A repair shop for electric bikes has erupted in flames in Sydney's inner west. No one was injured, but it has prompted a warning from authorities about the dangers posed by lithium batteries. 5am in Sydney's inner west. Residents watch on as this suburban warehouse goes up in flames. Police knocked on our door and told us to evacuate. The whole thing was up in flames. You looked out the window, you could see it was just orange. The blaze tearing through a repair shop for electric bicycles, sending smoke high above the streets of Croydon. An aerial assault from fire crews preventing spread to surrounding homes or the petrol station next door. It took about an hour or two to contain it using aerial appliances um, and attacking the fire from above um, and accessing through the roof. Paramedics brought in as a precaution, but not required. With no one inside when the blaze began, investigators used drones to survey the damage as they pieced together exactly how it began. Many electric bicycles are fitted with lithium-ion batteries, which are more difficult to put out when they ignite. And as more people use models like this one to get around, fire crews say they have noticed an uptick in the number of e-bike-related fires. As soon as you see an e-bike fire, you need to vacate the premises straight away. Working smoke alarms, using the right uh, charging devices and turning them off once they're charged. They're, they're the keys. And if you've got a damaged battery, so look for signs of bulging leaks or anything like that. Don't continue to use one of those batteries because there's a chance it'll actually enter what we call thermal runaway. Um, effectively, it's damaged the batteries and that's when they can be uh, at their most volatile. Two backpackers narrowly avoided serious injury in October when an e-bike battery exploded inside their Sydney hostel. It is something that we're aware of. We're trying to put some community messaging out about the risks involved with it. A risk all too real for what remains of this business. Cameron Redden, Sky News, Sydney.